Hello and welcome to this video about conversion of my Vadia 860 or in fact Vadia 861 because it has been factory upgraded to 861 from 120 volts as it says there to, to 40. Well in the old Vadias like 16 what they had at the power socket they just had a um, little PCB if you put it one way it was 110 volts but you removed it and put it the other way it was 220 and then you can turn it around and do it two other ways you know to do 100 and 220 and something like that it's just um, joining different tappings of a transformer so uh, what prompted me to do it now and um, uh, not before well it was overdue, I was going to go and because there are two transformers, one accessible from this side and one from the other side and as you see they got plenty of uh, wires on the input and on the output, just too many different power supplies in there. So what prompted me was this, as you see I have a, another Vadia 860 in my workshop and it is remarkably similar. So, um, the fault in this one, I think, it hasn't, I haven't finished it yet, um, was mechanical, I think, because it, um, it sort of didn't want to play uh, CDs, uh, but now it does, and I'll, uh, you know, it jumps and does everything. This is actually a CDR we're listening to, but I'll, I'll play a CD later on, because remarkably it had a... Um, it would play CDRs, but not CDs. You know that hardly ever happened. Uh, but um, but it is in these occasions. Well, I'll come back playing CDs, but I got sidetracked with all that. It's about a, it's about conversion, really. So you see, this is a 220 volts unit, and I looked at all the colors of wires and stuff, and when I open up both of those. I realized that, I mean, I haven't measured the actual winding resistance on any of them, but it looks to me, I mean, the part number is, um, is the same in, uh, in, in both of them. And I even have a um, sticker, two transformers, but on that sticker, you know, there's the same part number 500147001. So, um, those markings there are a bit different in both of them, but, um, but the actual part number is the same. So what I'm thinking, what I'm thinking is that, uh, and this is just a call out to anybody out there, that maybe Avadia doesn't have an elegant solution of a little board that sort of plugs in in a different way, but maybe that board there is uh, the same solution, less elegant because you have to probably replace that board but it would be uh, at the input we have this um, filter you know and that filter just plugs in with, with three pins as, as, as you'd expect but then there is a forest of those pins so what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up or, or remove those things in both of the players to confirm it, you know, that maybe all I need to do is just make one of those boards. While I'm at it, I might sort of reproduce them and be able to switch values from American voltages to European and, uh, and, and uh, Australian and vice versa. So if anybody out there has any experience on that, please let me know if I'm on the right track. It will take a bit of doing, you know, to remove it, but, you know, nothing extraordinary. Uh, I, I must say, I cannot see any links in there, but maybe, maybe just the board is different. Maybe just the board is different and, and hence a different sticker, you know, it says 220 volt on that one, whereas in here it says um, 120. So maybe that's the only difference as far as power is concerned. Well, that's uh, all, and if you know the answer to my question, please, please uh, contact me, 
and uh, just so I don't have to do another one of those videos um, see that was a CDR uh, let me play a couple of tones so um, so the owner can be assured that it actually now works properly so the first one is uh, track 8 and I'll turn it down so it plays it nicely and the second one is 15 and plays that as well well thank you very much until the next one bye bye